Today we're going to talk about how to find the distance between two points using a squared plus b squared equals c squared, better known as the Pythagorean theorem. Uh, I wanted to specifically have the a squared plus b squared equals c squared form, so you remember to use this formula every time we talk about distance. Now, when you have a problem involving distance, you're usually given information in one of two ways. The first is that you may be given information on the coordinate plane or in a graph. In order to solve, it makes it very easy on yourself if you go ahead and identify the points based on their coordinates. In order to do that, you're going to find your point, figure out how far over you go from the origin on the x-axis, that's the one that goes this way in case you forgot, 1, 2, 3 in the negative direction, that would mean my x-coordinate is negative 3. I do the same thing for the y, down 2, 1, 2, so my coordinate for this point is negative 3, negative 2. I'll do the same thing for the one at the top. I'll go over 2 here, so positive 2, and for y, 1, 2, so negative 3, negative 2, and 2, 2. Um, you may only be given the points. The problem may begin to look like this, saving you a significant amount of time. Now, originally when you look at the question, you should determine what it's asking you to do. In most cases, uh, it will say find the distance. So when you see the word distance, the very first thing that you should do is write down the Pythagorean theorem, which is a squared plus b squared equals c squared, which if you remember will help us find the third side of a right triangle where we know the other two sides. Now, what does that have to do with distance? Well, if you look here on the coordinate plane, or in our graph here, you can see that we can determine two sides just by counting. So I have one side that looks like this and it's straight across. I have one that's straight down. And then I have my diagonal, which is really the distance between two points. Now, to find how far I have to go to get from here to here, if I have points, I could just determine that based on how far apart they are. So let's look at our x values first. So I have negative 3 and 2. So that would give me 0 to th negative 3 being 3, and 2 to 0 being 2, so 3 plus 2 is 5. Or you can just count negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2. So it's 5 points apart. So that would mean that our distance from here to here is 5. Our vertical distance from here to here goes from negative 2 to positive 2. Negative 2 to 0 is 2. 0 to 2 is 2 also. 2 plus 2 is 4. Or you can just count negative 1, 0, 1, 2, and that will get you up to 4. So this distance is 4. Showing down here, negative 2 to 2 would give you 4. Negative 3 to 2 gives you 5. Now, where do we go from there? You had me write down the Pythagorean theorem, and I don't really understand what that has to do with anything. Well, as you can see, both 4 and 5 represents the legs of a right triangle. So I will write down my Pythagorean theorem here. I will remember back to my original that the distance between 3 and negative 2 was 5. So in the place of a in my equation, I'm going to put a 5. Remember to put your square back. The distance between the y's in my original problem was 4, so I'm going to put plus 4, remember to put my squared. Then all we have to do is solve. I've got 5 squared plus 4 squared, 5 squared is 25, 5 times 5, plus 4 squared, which is 4 times 4, and 4 times 4 is 16, and I will do c squared. Um, 25 plus 16, the 6 plus 5 is 11, so I've got 1. So I'll add 1 over here. Three, 2 plus 1 is 3, plus 1 more gives me 41. That's my c squared. But we're not trying to solve for the value of c squared. We want to know the value of c, because that would be the actual third side, or in this case, the distance. So I'm going to eliminate the squared by doing the opposite, because as you can see, it's just simply solving an equation. The opposite of squaring is square root. So my final answer is going to be the square root of 41. Or if the question asks that you 
change it into a decimal form, which it certainly might. I'm going to type square root of 41 into the calculator, just like that. I'm going to hit enter, and I get 6.4.